हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कलेक्ट इनट्यून लॉक फाइल्स फ्रॉम मैक डिवाइसेस सो देयर आर थ्री मेन इनट्यून लॉक फाइल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग सिंक एंड डिप्लॉयमेंट प्रॉब्लम्स विद मैक डिवाइसेस एंड दीज लॉक्स आर कंपनी पोर्टल डॉट लॉग इंट्यून एम डी एम डिओमेन डॉट लॉग्स एंड द इंट्यून एम डी एम एजेंट डॉट लॉग नो लेट्स क्यूकली सी सम ऑफ द प्री रिक्यूजेट फॉर लॉक कलेक्शन ऑन मैक डिवाइसेस सो द वेरी फर्स्ट प्री रिक्यूजेट इज मैक डिवाइसेस मस्ट बी एनरोल इन द इंट्यून द रिमोट मैक डिवाइस मस्ट बी ऑनलाइन वाइल कलेक्टिंग द लॉग्स when using a shell script for log collection the full and absolute log file path must be specified the maximum log collection size to upload is 10 mb or 25 files and the last one is allowed file type for log collection includes dot log dot zip dot gz dot tar dot xml dot crash and dot dot rtf extension before we begin if you are enjoying the content please subscribe for more let's see how we can collect the logs from the company portal on mac devices so to do this we have to open the company portal and then we have to click on the help option and then we have two options send diagnostic report and save diagnostic report so if we click on the send diagnostic report we can see that it's saying that we will send the logs to chandramani demo lab support and microsoft company portal developer to assist in the troubleshooting and it is automatically creating an incidence id and if we click on the email logs we can also send the logs as an attachment to your admin for further troubleshooting and if we click on save diagnostic report we can save these logs in the local machine let me click on save and now if we go to the download folder we can see that the company portal dot zip file created and if we click on this open with archive utility we can see that the company portal dot log and if we click on this we can read this logs and use this log for further troubleshooting related to company portal issue now let's see how we can collect intune mdm logs from the device so intune mdm logs can be found under the system logs as well as under the user logs so let me first show you how we can find the intune mdm logs under the system so to do this we have to click on go and then we have to click on go to folder and then we have to search for library slash library and within library we have to search for logs folder and within logs we have to click on the microsoft folder and within microsoft we have to click on the intune folder and within intune folder we can find intune mdm domain logs and we can use this log for further troubleshooting and the second location is under the user logs and to find that log we have to click on again go option and then we have to click on go to folder and then instead of system logs we have to go for user logs and then we have to search for library for that user and then within that library we have to again search for logs and within logs we have to open the microsoft folder and within microsoft we have a intune folder and within intune we can find the intune mdm agent logs user can copy this logs and share it with admin for further troubleshooting
we can also collect the log from the intune portal so to do this we have to go to the intune portal and then within intune portal we have to go to the mac os by platform and within that we have to select the shell scripts and if you have deployed any script you have to click on that script and then you have to click on the device status and you have to select the device and then here you have an option called collect logs you have to click on that and here you can provide the location from where you want to collect the logs and i want to collect the log from this location if you want to collect the log from multiple location then you have you can use the semicolon and provide the multiple locations for now i am going to select only one location and click on ok and now it initiated the log collection and we can see that we are getting information log collection initiated successfully and after some time we can see that logs are ready to download we have to click on download logs once we click on download logs a window will pop up allowing us to save the log file in a zip format the zip file will be named script troubleshooting logs with date and then you can extract the zip file to access the log files for further troubleshooting i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video